you already know what time it is. It is time for a fall haul. Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. You know what time it is. It is mid-July and it is time for a fall haul and a Kringle fall haul. I have all 12 of the brand new Kringle candles launching tomorrow, July 11th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. As always, I am a Kringle candle ambassador, but these candles were not sent to me in PR. We were offered as ambassadors a chance to purchase the candles at a discount for a pre-order. So I decided to place an order for all 12. Listen, I was hanging on so strong. I am the first one to admit, I told you guys, I'm working on my stash as I'm looking at all my candles here. And I'm not going to purchase all of them. I'm only going to get the ones I really want. And then it turned to... I'm not getting any. I still have fall candles from last year. And then I woke up and Melanie and Katie posted their videos about the same time. I didn't even click on the videos, guys, and I ordered all 12. Like, crazy. I just, I knew at the end of the day, fall candles are my favorite time of year. I love fall. And typically, I'm already decorated for fall in my house. I'm the fall guy. I brought out a fall colored shirt. It is so hot outside. I'm literally drenched. I just got out of the shower. I am soaking wet and dreading going outside to go to work because the heat has just been so terrible. I'm going out of town this weekend to New York and I already know it's going to be super hot there. I have a towel. I have some water and I have these blinding lights here. And listen, I'm so excited to smell fall candles. I don't know when I'm going to get to burning these yet. Full disclosure, this is just all a cold sniff, but I wanted to get this out to you beforehand. I didn't even think I was going to have these to, for you guys early. I was going to make like a little video or a post about the launch, but UPS kept saying the 10th, the 11th, the 10th, the 11th. They launch on the 11th. Next thing I know, they showed up on my doorstep just about an hour ago. So perfect, perfect timing that this will be up for you to watch Get some ideas to plot your orders and place an order tomorrow. Now, these are not limited editions by any means. These are just their, they are their regular fall lineup for 2024, including there are going to be obviously some returning favorites, but these are all of the new ones. As always, I'm just going to pull one up here. There are six in the country in the Kringle line and six in the country line. I did purchase all 12. Now, country, we'll get into that in a second. But, um, yeah, this gives you time. Sorry, I'm, like, jumping all over the place. This gives you time to place an order before, you know, right when they launch. But don't feel obligated that you have to place them right away or they will sell out. My code is DrewYawk15. It does save you 15%, and it is a commissioned link. So I do earn, or it is an affiliate link. I do earn a commission. All right. All the jibber-jabber. I'm going to take a sip of water. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right, we are going to start with the country line. Now, full disclosure, I actually bought two of the full sizes and four of the medium jars. You guys all know country candle is not my favorite style of jar. I don't really love the style. I like the shape, but the burn has just been a little rough on them, very inconsistent. I think it has to do with the colored wax and the shape of the jar itself. The Kringle has been working on the wicks are not perfect on them i know for the limited editions in the summer that they release like that popsicle and uh banana nut bread and pina colada they had different wicks i haven't purchased any so i have no experience with them this will be my first time trying the new wicks so i did purchase two full sizes in the fragrances i think i would like and four in ones i'm like i don't need full sizes in all of them so i just purchased mediums in those so We'll start with the ones I think I will really like. The first one is Almond Butter Cookie. I love a gourmand. I love a bakery fragrance. And this sounds like the ultimate candle to burn, like, with others, because it's like a butter cookie. So you have, like, a rich, creamy bakery for the kitchen. That's what I'm thinking. There are notes on the bottom of every candle, which I love. And when these launch, they will be launching at $31.50. But again, you can use my promo code for 15% off. All of this will be in the description box down below. The notes read almond, sweet, vanilla, pumpkin, maple, and amaretto. These are two wicks. This is my first sniff. 
Interesting. Not what I expected at all from this, actually. Huh. Okay, so I'm not necessarily getting cookie. I am getting almond butter. Like, that Justin's almond butter, if you know, if you're familiar with in the stores, that you have to, like, stir yourself. I'm getting a rich almond butter. Pumpkin, no, I'm not really getting any pumpkin. Maple, yes. I am not the biggest fan of maple in wax. I think you guys know that. I'm not a fan of maple in life. I like maple syrup, but I don't really like, like, maple donuts or maple flavored anything. This is not my favorite. So, mm, yeah, it's n if you like almond fragrances, like those nutty, warm bakery fragrances, I think you'd like this. I think I was just expecting more. It almost feels like it's not complete enough. Like almond butter cookie, I was expecting a rich, decadent, warm cookie fragrance where I'm not getting that. I'm just getting like, like an, an almond butter with some like maple, like maple syrup on top. Okay, um, not a favorite, but I do think this will be a nice blender for, like, the background. So, again, like how I thought, this will be good to add, like, a nuttiness or a warmth to other fragrances. Of course, I will burn it on its own at first to see how it performs. Next, Praline Buttercream. I think out of all of the six countries, I was most excited about this. One, the label looks amazing. Looks like we have a chocolate cake with some icing and then it looks like a Snickers bar on top. It has like a, a toffee bottom or a nougat bottom, caramel, nuts, and chocolate. The notes read caramel, pecan, brown sugar, butter, nut, and vanilla. Ooh, okay. They redeem themselves. This is awesome. Ooh, this is rich, warm, and decadent. Ooey, gooey caramel. You have to like caramel fragrances to like this. Now, I will say, my cats are very excited. Um, there is an interesting nutty note in the background. Like a real nut. Not cooked, though. Like a raw pecan. Is there a pecan in here? Pecan. Yep. Like a raw pecan. That's interesting. Yep. Stop it. It is like a rich warm caramel cupcake. Wow, with a hint of a raw nut. I've never smelled, like, nut in a fragrance quite like this. That's interesting. If you like a nut fragrance, I think you would like this. It truly smells like you opened a bag of nuts, like pecans. You truly get that raw pecan note. That is so wild. I've never smelled a scent like this. Oh, I actually really like this. Oh, this is interesting. I cannot wait to burn it. Now, like I said, I don't know when I'll get around to burning these. I still have so many summer candles, and it's so hot outside. It's going to be really hard to justify the, you know, fall candles right now as much as I love fall candles. It's just so, so hot. So I think sitting for a couple weeks before I light it, it will perform, like, it'll just get stronger and better. Next, we have Glazed Berry Scone. I was pretty excited about this one. I just could I didn't need all the large sizes. And I've never had a medium country, so I'll be curious to see how these burn. Because it seems like when the country candles get to about the halfway is when they start to fizzle out. Now, I have not tried these new wicks. And then they start to get sooty more towards the bottom because it's so much wax. I'm wondering if with the medium jars, I don't get as much because it's not as big. So we shall see. So glazed berry scone. Cranberry, berry, soft spice, pastry, sweet maple. Very excited about this one. Oh, it's not as strong as I expected it to be right away. Look at this beautiful wax. Oh, nothing like a fresh candle. Like, right? Like, this is beautiful. I love the fresh blue wax. Oh, it almost smells like a cranberry pie. It smells very similar to Bath & Body Works cranberry pie, if you liked that. Just tone down a few notches. I don't get blueberry at all. And it says cranberry berry, so it doesn't necessarily tell you what berry it is. You would think because it's blue, it would be like a blueberry, but it doesn't smell like blueberry. It's much tarter than that, like like a cran like a cranberry. 
It's like a cranberry scone. I like this. This will be a really nice... This would be a really nice scent to burn during, like, Thanksgiving week when you have that, you know, you have a lot of company coming over and you don't necessarily know what you're going to burn, necess you know what I mean? And you don't want anything super offensive, super strong, you know, knock them out of the house. But you want something that when they come into, like, the kitchen, oh, it smells so good in here. This is the candle for you. Like a cranberry scone. Really like it and love the vibrant blue color. All right, next. White birch and rain. Now, I love a white birch fragrance, and this seems to be the most unique out of all of them, like, that feels like it's in its own category, so I was very curious about this one. Herbal, cool, eucalyptus, lavender, musk, and mint. Now, I did watch Melanie and Katie's videos, and they were not the biggest fans of this, so I'll be curious. Wow. Okay. This is strong. Oh my god, wow. Um, it's interesting because the notes don't list white birch at all. And I don't really smell white birch at all. Oh my gosh, this is like spearmint. This is so strong. Oh my god. Oh wow, this is strong. Not spearmint, eucalyptus. This is like, a, this is, wow. This is like you're burning it in a, in a spa. Yeah, okay. I'm not a fan. If you like eucalyptus fragrances, that's all I get from this. Like, if this was just called eucalyptus, I'd be like, yeah, it's eucalyptus. Okay. Mm-mm. That's not what I expected. The, what was it? The green one from the spring and summer in the country line that a lot of people didn't like, cotton flowers? I really like that. Like, if you liked that, this is so different. This is so different. I really like that cotton flowers. I don't like the white birch and rain, so no thanks. All right, pine cones and pomander. Now, I do have two vintage pomanders that Melanie made in collab with um, Kringle. And I was very curious because I have not lit those yet. They came, I ordered them during that quick second restock and I got, I snatched them up. So I have not lit them yet. Um, I think after a year of sitting, they'll be great for this Christmas. But I loved the way that it smelled. And a, a pomander is like an orange with cloves sticking inside of it. Can you see? I'm going to try to focus on that. See how it has the orange with the cloves in there? Yeah, so that is essentially what a pomander is, but Melanie wanted to do a little bit more orange and make it a little bit more citrus for it, which I loved. So I'll be curious to see how this is with the pine cone. The notes are fir needles, citrus, citron, zest, juniper, currant, and musk. This does sound more like a holiday fragrance than a fall fragrance, but we shall see. Double wick. Orange is one of my favorite colors, so this speaks to me. Mm. It is a stringent orange. And I know Katie said that too. I know so many love Sicilian orange from Kringle. I've tried it twice. I just can't do it. Either time, the the note that's in the background, when I burn it, it just freaks me out. It is just not a scent that I enjoy smelling at all. And this has that note in it, that citrus background that Kringle uses. The I'm looking right here. The orange from Kringle Reserve, I haven't lit yet, but I love the way that one smells. This is interesting. I will light it. Obviously, I bought it. I want to try it out. But... It's a very strong citrus. Do I get juniper? Do I get fir needle? Yes. I get like a green, like almost like a Christmassy type of vibe in the background. But I get that citrus note that I'm not a fan of. Mm. I'm going to let it sit. Like I said, this is not one that I'm even thinking about burning in my rotation right now. It is way too, cit like it's way too holiday smelling for me right now anyway. So I'll let that sit. We shall see. But if you love Sicilian Orange, I know so many of you love Sicilian Orange. If you like that, I think you'll love it. It's just not that type of scent is not for me. Next, last from the country line is Merlot Vines. Now check that out. Now I love Vineyard from Yankee Candle. If you remember that fragrance from a while ago that comes back every once in a while. I have California Cab. I did not try the, what was it, Harvest Vineyard. Whatever the fragrance was last year from Kringle, I did not try. So 
I was very curious about this one. The notes are currant, grape, rose, berry, wood, and musk. Oh, I like this. Okay. I love the color, this mustard yellow. Now, like, look at the difference. Like, you can tell, like, bright orange mustard yellow. This is the ultimate fall candle color. I love. Oh, this is nice. It's real warm and woodsy, though. Like, I don't smell grape at all when you first smell it. I'm going to warm it up with my finger. I mean, even though they're pretty warm straight from the truck, but I just warmed it up with my fingers. Yeah, this is like warm and woodsy. So currant, grape, rose, berry, wood, and musk. I'm getting a lot of woods. I'm not really getting much as far as berry or grape. But what I smell, I really like. Almost like you walked into a, a winery or a vineyard, like the building itself. But none of the fruits. Huh. I, I don't really get much from this. I'll be very curious once I light this one up. This one I can see lighting up towards the end of summer, like the end of July, beginning of August, because it has this warmth to it and the color is really nice. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about it yet. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Interesting. I I'm not getting much but wood. Close it. Let's see. Yeah, I'm only getting like a woodsiness. Who knows? Okay, so there we have that one. So those were the country candles. If I had to pick two highlights out of the countries, I will do praline buttercream and glazed berry scone. These are my picks out of the six country candles. Um, again, everybody has different scent preferences. I typically tend to favor Kringle over country, but it is always nice to try the country fragrances and see, you know, what kind of vibe they give me. So I'm going to clear these off and I'm going to move on to the Kringle candles. All right, let's move on to Kringle candle. I love Kringle candle. There's something so elegant about these big tall jars with the big label. You know, I love the reserve line as well. And this label in particular Kittens and cashmere. Look at the label. We have a cute, cute little kitten on there covered in blankets. You know, I'm a sucker for kittens. Clearly, I have four of my own. Now, the reviews are interesting on this. So, I'm curious to see what this smells like to me. The notes are ozone, green, herbal, fur needle, eucalyptus mint, herbal, amber, and musk. So we have herbal in here twice. I'm nervous because I want to love this one so much. Mmm, I don't like it. Oh, okay. I always bring her up, but she's my girl, Katie. And I were messaging on Instagram because, oh, I was all set on not buying these. Listen, I was all set on not buying them, but Peer pressure. Not, nobody pressured me, actually. I just did it myself. She said elements of sweater weather from Bath & Body Works are in here, and sweater weather is not my favorite candle. And I see where I see where that's like a base. It's almost like that sweater weather, that like juniper, eucalyptus-y, warm fragrance is in the background. But again, I'm getting that I'm getting that eucalyptus and that strong green fragrance. That is not what I expected from kittens and cashmere at all, which is such a bummer because I love the label. I'm still gonna burn through this whole thing because I want to save this jar because I'm obsessed with the way that it looks. Uh-uh. No, I don't like this. If you like sweater weather from Bath and Body Works, I think you'll like this. It's not the same fragrance by any means, but it has those elements in it. It has that eucalyptus. It has that green, like, fresh coolness. I think I mentioned in the video before, it smells like, like a eucalyptus body wash, where after you wash your body and rinse it off, it, like, leaves a cooling effect on your skin. It leaves a little bit of that to, to it. So that's how I feel about that one. <gasps> Salted maple pumpkin. Okay, look at the label. So we have a delicious pumpkin pie covered in what looks like a gooey caramel. 
Notes are spice, maple, butter, sweet, cinnamon, and vanilla. Yes. Oh, this is fall. This is fall, fall, fall. There's maple in here, right? Maple butter. Yep. I totally get maple in here. Totally. But, but it's a sweet maple that almost, like, it kind of makes the fragrance. But if you're not a maple fan, like, I'm not a maple fan, I think you would still really like this. It has a creaminess to it. Like a pumpkin pie filling before you have the pumpkin. Okay, so, like, okay, so pumpkin pie spice, essentially. But a creamy pumpkin pie spice. Like a pumpkin pie spice milkshake. I'm thinking cool weather, right? I'm thinking, I'm thinking hot weather. You want a milkshake. Oh, this is really nice. This is my favorite so far out of all the ones that I've smelled. Salted maple pumpkin. This is amazing. Oh, this is so good. Oh, yeah. H hands down, this is it. This is the one. This is the one. Okay. If you like pumpkin spice, if you like creamy pumpkin spice, like if you like pumpkin spice, but it's a little too strong for you, if you don't like like cinnamon, nutmeg, like that kind of stuff. Yeah, this is it. That's fall in a jar. Fall in a jar. This is the one I was most excited about. Warm and toasty. Look at that label. Now, are you team burnt marshmallow or toasted marshmallow? For me, this one right here, so lightly toasted. That's that's how I prefer my marshmallows. The notes read cedar, smoke, sweet marshmallow, amber, and sugar. Now, in the videos I saw, I hear that this is a very toasty, smoky marshmallow, but it's cedar forward, and I love cedar wood. Oh, I like this. Oh, I really like this. It's cedar wood, though, which is so strange. So interesting for a marshmallow fragrance to be cedar wood forward. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is interesting to me. Very interesting. Huh. If you like marshmallow fireside, if you like that toasty marshmallow, but you're, like, sick of the same thing every year. You know, you want to change it up a little bit. This is, like, this is, like, Marshmallow Fireside's older, more sophisticated sister. Totally. Oh, this is nice. This is toasted marshmallow. Like, a rich, toasty, over-the-fireside marshmallow with cedar wood. Interesting. Oh, I love this. My friend Emily has a home in Deep Creek. I picture walking into her home in the fall and it's smelling like this. She has a cedar closet upstairs. Yeah, I picture this in like a rich country home almost in the fall. Oh, well, two favorites in a row. Can we make it three? Bourbon apple, bourbon apple. Bourbon, apple, and oud. Oud wood is another wood that I just love. It's a little bit more warm, a little bit more sultry, almost a little bit more incense-y type of wood. So I was very curious about this one. Bourbon, apple, wood, sweet, tonka, and amber. This is nice. This is nice. I get apple, though. I definitely get apple right away. Bourbon apple? No, I don't. I don't necessarily think this smells boozy at all. I definitely think it has potential to get real strong when you burn it. Oh, this is not, this is fall. You have your pumpkin type fall. You have your sweet, safe, sweet, smoky fall, and you have your apple fall. This is good. If you didn't love Apple Love from, was that last year or the year before? Maybe the year before. I loved Apple Love, but it wasn't really apple-y. This is apple. This is a rich red apple. It doesn't say what type of apple. It just says apple. With oud wood. Like that smoky, warm. Oh, okay. You know, I'm already like a mixer. I love burning two different candles. Warm and toasty and bourbon, apple, and oud. 
this is already going to be a fall combo. Like, almost like an apple s'mores. Like, this is dining room. This is living room. And when they go together, yeah, I can already tell. I'm going to pop the lids off. Oh, yeah. This is amazing together. Oh, bourbon, apple, and oud, and warm and toasty are going to be my combo for the, sum for the summer. For the fall. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Started off on a bad foot with kittens and cashmere, but boom, we're killing it. Next, we have Maple Woods. Now, this is fall. Listen, I, before I flew to New York, used to drive all the time. This is what I would drive through when I went in the fall. It's beautiful. Your whole body just relaxes when you see a fall scape like this beautiful. Oh, I love living in the East Coast. The notes are maple wood, sweet, floral, amber, and citrus. Lots of maple. Huh. This is the most maple heavy, surprisingly. But it's a perfumey maple. Almost like, huh, this is interesting. I like this, though. I really like this. I'm trying to keep this under 30 minutes. I'm looking at the time, too, because I want people to be able to watch it and not feel like it drags on. Oh, if if you like... Uh, like... I'm trying to think of the word. Amber, citrus, maple, wood. Yeah. It's a woodsy maple. It's a woodsy maple. This is the most sophisticated out of all of them. The most, most like, conceptual perfumey. Like, perfumey cologne -y. Not like that Velo from a couple years ago that smelled like, like men's pepper cologne. This is a sweet maple fragrance. Ooh. Definitely my second favorite maple fragrance. Like salted maple pe pumpkin, amazing. This is good too. Ooh, this is really good. Yeah, if you like maple outdoorsy type of fragrances, try that one. Like this is one you have to sniff to experience it. The other ones I feel like I could describe pretty well. That, it's kind of complicated. And last but not least, Pumpkin Rum Toddy. Look at the cutest little pumpkin mug. Love. Everything about fall is just the best. Pumpkin Spice Rum, Citrus, Fruit, Butter, and Vanilla. Oh, wow. Now this, you can smell booze. Whoa. Well, oh, it's so funny. I have my rating already. Oh my god. This is alcoholic. <laughs> like, I feel like if you put this in a machine, it, it would have an alcohol rating. Oh my goodness. You totally get the rum in this. Where the ma bourbon, apple, and oud, I don't really smell bourbon. I'm smelling rum. I, I'm not into alcohol, so... The, I mean, it smells like a toddy. It totally smells like a toddy. That's so interesting. With that... With that alcohol fragrance. Mmm. Okay. You have to like alcohol. It, yeah, it does. It smells like a like a or an apple toddy. I, I'm not getting pumpkin much. I'm not getting pumpkin much. I'm getting like like a spice cider fragrance. But a lot of rum. And that rum is just cooking and boiling in there. Okay, wow, that's strong. That's a strong candle. Okay, so. If I had to pick number one in the Kringle, salted apple pumpkin. Number two, bourbon apple and oud. Number three, warm and toasty. Number four, maple woods. Number five, kittens and cashmere, only because of the label. And number six, pumpkin rub toddy, which makes me so sad. I wish this was my number one, or number one, higher. But the rum is just real strong. Yeah. Well, I got a lot of candles to burn, and I'm very excited. This is only the beginning of fall. I'm sure we'll have a fall reserve launch, and of course, Halloween. Always Halloween, but I am sticking with these for right now. Excited to let these sit for a bit, go on vacation, come back, and hopefully it'll get a little cooler. It's just been so hot outside. If I had to pick, if you were like, I'm only buying four candles, this order drew, what do I get? Salt and maple pumpkin, bourbon apple and oud, glazed berry stone, 
and pumpkin or praline buttercream. That's my four pack. That's what I'm leaving you here with. These will be available in the large and medium sizes in the country and the Kringle. Daylights and wax melts, I believe. They should be coming. I know there was an issue with the machine with the wax melts and daylights, so it should be up and running again. Don't quote me on that. Again, thank you so much, Kringle, for the opportunity to purchase these candles at a discount to share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed my honest opinions. I definitely don't sugarcoat things just because I'm an ambassador. Again, these launch tomorrow, July 11th at noon Eastern Standard Time. Use my code DREWYOCK15 for 15% off. Happy fall and happy summer. Ugh, it just needs to be fall, right? <laughs> Make it a better world and be kind. I love you guys so much. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you are alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. I'll see you guys later. Love you. Bye.